Yes, sir. Atlanta's number about station is out on 7-9. Your dirty J. Nix flies Ghana Radio, and we meet again. Last time we talked over some online thing, but it was a good, 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 a good conversation. Me and Mr. Michael had. We also talked about this album, and months later, we talked about it being so worthy of having a Grammy and winning a Grammy that he swept. Yeah, swept all three. Swept all three. Best rap song, best rap performance, and um, album, rap album of the year. We said it. Yeah. On our last interview. You better believe it. So how do you feel about that? Just like that just coming to pass. Like you know, we of course right, we talk about like it. Like I manifested it. Like Come I on. put two and a half years of my life into giving the story of me in Atlanta and it paid off. I appreciate recording the cattle. I appreciate everybody who vote for me. But more and bigger, I just appreciate this city for co starring in, in this story. You right. know what I'm saying? And um it's just the first. It's the first of three Michaels. And the first of a first year of a ten year run. So mm. let's see what we do in the next ten years. Of, so, so what does what does it feel like winning the Grammy? Three, not, feel, not only one, but three. Well, I won my first Grammy twenty years ago okay. with Outkast, and um, but this that, I feel like that's I went Outkast. This is this all this all killer. Yeah, yeah, but I went crazy on the verse. So I'll never let nobody okay. forget that. Okay, um, you know I'm, I ain't never took no L. To my man Dre, he began on y'all song wiping y'all. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but so. For me, though, it was important to win on my own because I've been a part of a successful rap group the last 11 years. I'm not hurting for money. We tour 120 days a year. We a rap group that's that's rock, rock and roll stages. We just opened for Rage Against the Machine on their last tour. So I, I'm, I was straight in terms of accolades. Mm. I've, I've won awards. I've, I've toured the world. I do well. But I had never properly introduced myself, Michael, one half of Run the Jewels, known as Killer Mike, to the world, so I just felt compelled to do it. And then, as we start making the record, me and Cuz Lightyear, who A and R the record, shouts out to Cuz. As we start making it, we start realizing the quality of music we were doing and the story we was telling was Grammy worthy. So that's what when I signed to Loma Vista, when I did a partnership with Villains, my company in Loma Vista. Um, they asked, well, what could we do? I knew I was going to grow platform, grow audience. A new partner with them was going to help me bring stuff to radio, video, stuff like that. But I told them I wanted to win Grammys. Mm. And, and, and that's what I went for. And we wanted to win one, or they wanted to win one of three. You know what I'm saying? They said, well, you know, if we get nominated as an honor, getting one will be an, an accomplishment. We'd be satisfied. I, I'd say I won't be satisfied with any one but rap album of the year, and mm. I want all three. And, and, and I got quiet about it, and I worked. I shook hands, went around, performed the album everywhere I could and should. And we came home. We swept. We brought him home to Atlanta. So what was it like waiting there to, for them to call your name? I, I watched so many different, like, I think, behind the scenes and stuff. Yeah, it, how they just have you in the, in, in the space and just like, well, let me hit you right here just in case you win. Right. What when I, when I walked like? out of my hotel in, in, in uh, Hadiaco, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, the suit, my guy was amazing. Man, keep me, T.I., and G's looking crazy dope. Black designer right here. So I got out of them in this three, four, five thousand dollar tux seat. Come on now. I walk out to this $80,000 Regal. Come on now. Got an 87 Grand National with an LT4, that's CO6 engine. They had just got built. Can't so do I walked downstairs, and there it is on them American Racing Torque Thrust Wheels. They got the bare brakes, 14 inch caliber. So I'm feeling like new money already. <laughs> Come on now. I mate. get out to this bracelet from my man Stax Customs. And so everything about the day is going great. And then we <laughs> sit down, time we get our chairs and sit down in the audience. Within eight minutes, I hear my name call. And mm. we, we go up there and we get the first one. And then I'm finna go. And the guy says, hold up, you might want to stick around. The second one fall, bam, they call my name again. Mm. And after that, I just said, I know I got the third one. Mm. I know I got rap album. So I didn't even try to go back to my seat. And I had asked my old lady, I don't know if people heard me, but I said, you know, where my old lady at? What's Shana? And when they third one, next thing I know, man, I just seen that short skirt and them high heels running to it my <laughs> way. So, I, 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 you know, I, I just, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the city. I'm excited because the next day I was in the studio with Mike Will working. Mm. So, you know, just know, man, I'm the, I'm, I'm going to keep repping for the city like nobody else will. Do you feel like um, this is your most pivotal moment as far as your career? Because now you're getting all the accolades that I feel yeah. like you've always deserved. I feel like yeah, you've you. always been under, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just I've been like, underrated. Yeah. I've been overlooked. Come on, let's I've been, talk. I've been, some of it let's was, yeah, what I said, I said, I said in, um, in Rich, I said it's, 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 it's underwhelming to be so overly underrated. You know, mm. yeah, Come on I, now. I, you know. So for me, I, I I know I was underrated. I know I was an underdog. But this victory show you the underdog can win. Right. And for the next for the next ten, y'all gonna have to see me because I ain't got nothing but a bunch of more good music, bunch of more good good ideas and collaborations. I look forward to seeing this city grow. People like it's grown. Me, JID. I look forward to Kenny Mason coming into his own. Come on now. You know this city has lyricists. It has spitters. 
and it has people with dope grooves and jams and just vibes. So Atlanta's one of the only city where you can get four or five different styles and versions and everything be dope. And mm. I'm happy to be a part of that. And I'm gonna keep doing it. Like I said, I'm gonna be around nine, ten more years. Mm. What would you say to like the 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 uh, like I guess the OGs? I feel like when I think we talked before, this is the only genre of music for us rap that people put an age on it. Like you too yeah. old a rapper, you too old yeah. to this, but it's just still music. It's Man, still do art. the ball and G. Don't stop. I go to see ball and G at least once, twice a year. Mm. When they drop new music, I drop, I'm listening. You know, so for me, I would say OGs don't stop. I know Wicked got a I got a new record out there with him and CeeLo. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. So for me. I, I try to make music that has has show a more mature me, but I'm not trying to be no old man. I ain't out here trying to yell at you, give you no advice. Right. I'll just tell you how I do it. I used to I used to be all about the booze and the cruising. Right. Now I'm just cruising. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't drinking as much. I blow Come on, a little man. So for me, man, just do what's true to you, and there's an audience for it. You know. No, I definitely want to congratulate you on your three Grammys. But you've been doing other stuff too. How was yeah. the SmackDown? What was that like? Oh man, SmackDown. Come man. on, Shouts man. out to Cody Rhodes, man. The American <laughs> Nightmare, man. My story, like we had put up me and my manager Will, my boy in Hollywood, and a dog all went. Man, had a ball. I love wrestling. I done rediscovered my love for it. So expect to see me at more events. Shouts out to Cody. I'm supporting you, man. You know what I mean? And shout out to Rick Flair. Rick Flair sent me a congratulations yesterday. It's up on my page. Now. Come on, that's hard. Oh, come on, man. Rick Flair. Say, oh, gee, Rick Flair say, Flair say to beat the man. You got to beat the man. Come on, man. Say killer Mike. My friend, you looking real unbeatable right now. So shout out to Rick. That's man. hard. That's hard. Atlanta Hawks performances, man. You doing? Yeah. You doing them things? You been working? I'm working. I, work. I, I was the Hawks performance. What was man, it like? the Hawks performance was amazing. Just I, I, my partnership with the Hawks and the Swag Shop has been amazing. Um, now that I'm back home, y'all gonna see me at some more games. I, I I miss my guys, man. I'm glad we ain't making any trades because I think we got a team that we can build into something. You know what I mean? I just I, I got a lot of love for the Hawks as an organization. Got a lot of love for them as a team. I look forward to supporting them all the way through. Okay, as a Hawks fan and being from Atlanta, what, what you think we need? What, what, what are we missing? Man, I, I think we toughening up on defense. I'm seeing Trey go and grab them steals from dudes, man. You know, you can always use an extra big guy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wouldn't. You, man, like, when you think about it, man, what if we had Jamal coming as a sixth man right now? You know what I'm saying? What if we had Dikembe in his prime right now? So I think we're going to get some – I think we're gonna get a mean six man coming off the bench at some point. Okay. I think we're gonna get a. I think we're gonna beef up our big man. Some you know some boys gaining weight. They lifting weights. Come on now. So they ain't gonna stay thin. Or shouts out to Murray, man. That boy them gang killers he crazy. did a couple weeks ago. So you know for me, man, I'm I'm just looking forward because it's all about self improvement. I think every guy on that team is dedicating himself to improving themselves. And the same thing I did with music. Eventually you're gonna stroke. You're Come gonna on, hit. You're, you're gonna, gonna get catch, it popping. You're okay. gonna sweep. While we still talking about sports, Falcon season, football season is on the way. You know what I'm saying? Well, what do you think we can do it in the hands of our, our Falcons? Well, what, if Mike, if, if Killer Mike was a coach, what, what's the move? You what, what quarterback you going to get? Oh uh, man, I don't know. Mm. I, what I, what I do know is Cam is in town, and Cam say he want to work close to home. Come on now. So, so I, I ain't mad. I ain't mad I'm again. Not, I'm not mad at Cam, but man, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I just I know I, the Falcons man should be perennial dogs, and I think that it's going to happen eventually. I think. We got a coach that that understands defense is going to be defensive minded. I think we need to be like birds of prey for real. Mm. We need to be putting pressure on other quarterbacks. Trent Dilfer wasn't much of, much of a quarterback, but he got a Super Bowl ring. Go he on. had a tenacious defense around him. So if I was just saying what I'd like to see from the Falcons, I'd just like to see us build a defense that's damn near invincible. What would you feel like? How would you feel if Dion came back to Atlanta with, to his, coach? with his sons? Oh man, shout, man. shout, <laughs> shout, shout, shout out to Sanders. I just want to just think about it. I just want to feel Shout out to Sanders family. I'm telling you, you might mess around and get a hooper from Neek, too. Neek, son, I think, is out there balling. But, you know, Atlanta got real legacies, man. So, man, if Dion ever came back to town in whatever capacity, come we'd on. be happy to have Coach Prime. Man. Come on now, come on now. So, speaking of, of football, Super Bowl, the big game. Yeah. It's right around the corner. Yeah. Heard you doing shows out of the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I got me a big out there. What what you got going on out there, man? In case they want to see you. Playing, what's that, Madden Bowl? Yeah, Yeah, playing the Madden Bowl. Me and Big Boy playing Madden Bowl. So we'll see you. Mm. I think we get down there tomorrow. My wife probably going to gamble like crazy. I'll come back home. Um, you got it. Saturday. And then I'm in New York. I'm doing late night in New York next week, next Tuesday. Come on, man. Yeah, we're going to do see it. Nine. I love to see it. So, so okay, so I heard that after the Grammys. Like, Grammys definitely is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. nationwide deal. Your streams went up 700%? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even fathom doing the math of that. Like, 700% is a lot. I get 100%, yeah. but 700% yeah. streams going up? Yeah. Like, how does that work? Like, I we, don't know. We, All the white folks work for me got excited, though. <laughs> <laughs> I said, they got excited. They called going crazy. I said, what this mean? I, well, my book will call this morning. I knew what it mean, though. They, they say your pricing. Your pricing went up. About $20,000 per show. And just got a $120,000 offer. So. Mm, come so on, I'm Mike. I'm not mad at it. Come I'm, on, I'm Mike. So, man, run it up some more, please. 
And see, it's like I said, it's so crazy. Cause like I said, last time we talked about it, it was just being being the, the older guys, just the you know, more mature cats, the OGs rapping and still being able to go get a bag. It's out yeah. there. You see Nelly Torn. Yeah, absolutely. You see Keith Sweat ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Why would he? You know what I'm saying? Why like, I'm just saying. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, yeah, I can't even say nothing. I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud re- to be here repping for the city, man. And, and I remember my overseas shows. You about to hit overseas, too? Yeah, I did overseas. I do overseas often. Again, I'm in a But group. this is about to be. I wanted you, yeah, this, but I, I, went, I went over there and we did London. When was it? About four or five months ago, Mike? About four or five months over there, we did London, Scotland, Ireland, you know what I mean, to run the UK about six. And we had a ball, you know what I mean? But you you got to put in, you got to go over there and do the promo. Come then, on, man. Then they call and say, we want to pay you some more. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the promo to get paid some more. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, man? Well, definitely I'm proud of you, bro. What, what else you got coming out there with that we got to look out man, for? Man, Bankhead Seafood is opening in the next 60 to 65 days. So right there, I think 16, 65, Don Lee Howe, but it's right on Bankhead. Okay. So you come come see us down there. And we're swag shop. We're going to open up like two or three more swag shops, okay. you know, my wife and I. And you know, my wife, you know, she's developed real estate. So mm. expect some cool news to be coming that's going to be helping on the way of affordable housing in the city. So, you know, shouts out to Shea Bigger. You know, she's mean with her mind in terms of that. But just, man, just growing my brand. Swag Shop got some products dropping. I think y'all going to enjoy them. And, man, shouts out to the um, Big and Tall Lifestyle brand, Grand. They, they hooked me up with some cool stuff. So on, I want to shout them out, man. Y'all going to see me right went rocking their stuff. Well, I can't wait to see what's in store for you, big dog. And I continue to continue to push the culture forward. And one last thing, what would you tell some of the young cats as far as the culture in Atlanta right now? Because we had a big thing about the DJs and artists going back and forth. But the, the, I feel like me not being from Atlanta, I've been out here for 18 years. I definitely yeah. put a lot of work. But I came to this city because I was in love with the city and put forth my last 18 years to make sure I pushed the culture forward to the city to support. So I just really think that it's just a miscommunication with the DJs and the artists. Yeah, I think what's beautiful about this city is we have a symbiotic relationship. I, this is one of the, if it wasn't have been for DJ Funky and, and you know the coalition DJs and what they've done, I don't know if some of my music would have gotten pushed at all. Come you on, know, man. and I'm not a radio artist. I've been an artist, a word of mouth artist, and have you checked out? I wouldn't have met Gucci if it wasn't for Funky. You right. know, so the DJs, you see, I'm right here today with Cutmaster Swift with Outcast DJ. The DJs are a vital part because they keep their ear to the streets. The DJs, and I'm going to tell you the secondary, the dancers. The DJs and the dancers help. But with that said, the music that's moving in the clubs is not the only music because, mm. you know, the same DJs that play the mood, the music that make your booty move, to me have made my mind groove. You know, when you talk yeah. about Spearhead X, Spearhead X played as much hip-hop in my youth as he did, you know, music that was made to make you dance and groove. So I want to encourage Atlanta to stay diverse. Mm. And that means I want you to be able to listen to to your, to the local rappers that's on the corner. I want you to be able to listen to Baby and what him and Rollo Rodriguez do. I want you to be able to listen to what Kenny Mason and J.I.D. is doing. Because the coolest part about being a black person in Atlanta is we're not a monolith. It's all type of black folks from the high brow to the low crust to the low hanging fruit to the, to the bourgeoisie. And I think the coolest part of it is we all get to party together. Come on now. We all get to hang out together. So let's stop separating and let's stop acting like age or economics matters more than just black folks getting together having a good time. Come on now. I got to shout out to Looney because that's one of my favorite artists that I'm listening to right now. You got to check him out. He hard. He's like yeah, just send it to me. Just send me his stuff. He, I definitely want to check it out, crazy, man. So. I got to shout out Kenny, man. Like I say, Kenny is just, man, he is, um, he's to me. And Nudie, of course. Like, Nudie, Nudie, Nudie shouts out to Nudie for jumping on Echo with me. But when it comes to those two kids, Nudie, it, and, and Kenny to me just impressed me with stylistically what they do. Kenny just, man, is it's just, man, the, the, the rhyme patterns and the thought he put into it is just amazing. So just support young artists, support Atlanta artists, period, because if Mojo drop a tape, I'm buying it tomorrow. Come on, That's stop playing, real. man. Hey, Kill hey, Mike, hey. ladies and gentlemen, you know what's going on? Hey, Mike, we're out in stores right now. Stream about 55 times. Let's take that thing up to 800,000 screens. Get you get hear it, me? Let's go down. Killer. Sound 79.